Welcome back guys. Today I'm working on a Chevy Sonic. In doing a used car inspection we found that the map light doesn't work. You may think this is going to be a dumb video, but I already started to diagnose this. So, I'm going to take you through what I did. So on the back of the connector I'm going to touch the power wire and see my test light is not lighting up. So I'm not getting power. So I'm not getting power to this. I'm gonna swap my test light. I did put a banana jack on my test light. I'm gonna swap that over to positive. And as I hit my ground wire for the map light, my test light lights up. So I do have a good ground. I'm missing my power. All right, so I was looking at the wiring diagram and I noticed that the map light gets its power. The map light gets its power from the BCM. So I'm gonna take you down to the BCM and show you uh, the power wire coming out of the BCM going into this map light. All right, so I swapped my test light back over to ground. I'm gonna show you guys uh, the power wire coming out of the BCM. So it's this white wire with a brown trace. As I touch it, you guys can see that my test light does not light up. I'm not getting any power coming out of the BCM. Now, now that you guys are all caught up and you now see why I'm bringing you along for such a simple diagnosis for a map light not working, I'm going to check my powers and grounds at that BCM and make sure that they're all good. I'm probably only going to show a couple because who wants to watch me check in 13 different power wires. I have my multimeter hooked into the power probe outlet as well, so I, I know I'm getting a good ground. First, I'm going to check my power wire. Oh, if I can get in there. See, I have 14 volts on it. I'm going to check my ground. No voltage on my ground wires. I'm going to check the rest in the same way, and I'll get back to you guys. So I finished checking all of those powers and grounds the way I showed you. They were all good, all tested good. Uh, I think I might have a bad BCM, but before I call the BCM, I, I want to check and make sure that that circuit doesn't have any circuit protection. About eight, nine months ago, I had a Tundra that had a secondary air pump code, and there was actually a TSB for the secondary air pump driver. I don't, I don't just willy-nilly follow TSB, so I did check powers and grounds coming out of the driver going to the secondary air pump. And I didn't have any when I was active testing it, so I, I assumed that my driver was bad. I had a TSB that said that's what happens with the drivers. Just put the driver on and it didn't fix the code. The code came back instantly. So I, I checked the wiring and I found out that my power wire was shorted. It was actually the secondary air pump. Um, the secondary air pump was was shorted, and it was causing circuit protection to turn on. The driver would not turn that circuit on, so I took that driver back out, returned it to parts, replaced the the air pump, and I did it all free of charge because obviously I was paid to diagnose it. I got it wrong. I owned it, fixed it. Customer actually, I think, saved some money. So, I want to check the circuit protection on here. Anything that is power side switched from a computer, I, I do like to check and make sure there's no circuit protection built in. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you guys this. So, I have one lead of my multimeter hooked up to my power probe ground. I have the other one front probed. I have the other one front probed into my power wire coming out of the BCM that goes up to the map light. And I have two ohms of resistance to ground. So this thing is probably shorted to ground. So I disconnected the map light. Still have 0.2 resistance uh, to ground. Next thing I think I'm going to check is these visors. I want to disconnect the visors and make sure they're not shorted. They all share the same, same power wire.
Oh. All right, so with the uh, visor disconnected, I no longer am shorted the ground. I'm going to plug this map light back in and see if it works. All right, so with the, uh, the driver's visor unplugged, my map lights work. I'll show you guys. Show you that the map light now works. So, pretty sure it was a circuit protection issue. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call. Them. I knew circuits protected themselves, but I wasn't 100% sure how. So I asked a couple people. A couple different people told me that they use resistors, or at least that they used to, back in the olden days. Um, I knew that this wasn't the case on this one because off camera I put an amp clamp on that circuit, and I, I had no current flow in there. So I knew it was somehow switched inside that module. So I, I kept asking people, kept bugging people. And uh, every time I asked someone, I got closer and closer to the answer until I finally found out how it actually worked. What is used inside modules is called the uh, smart high side power switch. It's similar to a field effect transistor, but it also has uh, overcurrent and over temperature senses in it. So anytime it sees overcurrent or over temperature, it's able to shut that transistor down. So I'm going to add a link to, to the description to the information I found and um, you guys can look for yourselves I don't want to explain how it works I'm not an electrical engineer probably come off sounding like an idiot but uh, now back to your feature presentation all right so we got the new visor in uh, both map lights are now working glad I filmed this one glad I got to bring you guys along so uh, I guess you guys just like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys when the next one is broken but wait there's a guy who keeps trying to blow up uh, washer fluid jugs I really think he wants to be in in my videos so going to show you guys him. Hey Matt, say hi. <laughs>